Hi everyone and welcome to SCSP's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at another reconnaissance tool called HTTP Probe. Now HTTP Probe is not installed by default in your Kali machines. It is a tool built by a security researcher called Tom Nom Nom and we can get it from his GitHub repository. What this tool does is that it takes a list of URLs or domains and then checks whether HTTPS or HTTP service is running on those domains. So as I said, this is an information gathering tool. So when you are in that reconnaissance phase, you come across multiple URLs and multiple domains, and you have to check whether a HTTP service or HTTPS service is running on them or not. So one way to do that would be to manually enter each URL on your browser. But again, that is a very time consuming task. So what this tool does is that it automates this and it very quickly gives you the results that whether the service is running or not. So let's get started. This is the GitHub repository. So you can clone the tool from here and I'm going to clone it in my desktop folder. We're going to go into the folder. Now here you can see we have a main.go. This is an extension for the code written in Go language. So a prerequisite for HTTP probe is to install Go language. To do that, we do apt-get install Golang. So as you can see, I've already have this installed on my system. So what we do is that we do go build and then main.go. And this actually compiles the code and it gives you an executable file which you have right here, that is your main file. Now this main file is actually your HTTP probe script. So if you want, you can simply rename it like so. So now you have this. Now to run the code, let's just look at the help command. So I'm just going to run this like so. And you can see you have uh, a usage given here. Now, if you look at the GitHub repository, the usage is given something like this. So we have to pipe the output of the domain list and give it to HTTP probe. So I have a list, as you can see here, on my desktop folder, and it contains some URLs. So if I am to do this, cat domains.txt and then pipe it through HTTP probe, then it shows me the command is not found. Now why this happens is that when we run the script like this, it executes. But if we are to use it through a cat command, it shows that the command is not found. And this happens because the HTTP probe is not in our path variables. So what we can do is we can echo the path variable like so and you can see here we have this bin folder so now we will move this http probe into the bin folder now what this does is that it moves my http probe script into the bin folder so now i can use it from anywhere it makes it a path variable okay so now if i am to run this command again so you can see it executes. Now what happened, let's just take a look at the list again. So what happened is that I had this, these six domains and it showed me that which domains are running HTTP and which domains are running HTTPS. So as you can notice that the last three domains here are not listed in the output. So because these domains do not run an HTTP or HTTPS service. So this easily enumerates your domains and it makes your work very fast so that you can easily have a list of live hosts that are running web services. Now there's one more additional thing that you can do here as you can see in the github repository that you can specify different ports. So for example HTTP runs on port 80 but if you want to check something like port 81, port 8080 or any other port 
that runs web services. So you can do that using the dash p command. So this is something also additional that you can do if you want to enumerate services running other than the standard port 80 and 443. So this is all for the HTTP probe tool. I hope you guys understood. Thanks for watching.